Hey guys, welcome to our final part in our video series on the Becker Murphy model of rational addiction. In this video, we're going to display some key diagrams and do some comparative statics. Let's go. In terms of visualizing the rational addiction model, we'll consider the case where our addiction capital is complementary with our addictive good, as in part two of this video series. We'll obtain the following diagram. We have two equilibria, right, which is denoted by these two red stars, one and two, and an initial level of addiction capital which is denoted by three here. This blue curve indicates how addiction capital accumulation impacts our consumption of our addictive good, and our gray line indicates a law of motion of addictive capital. Now, we could say with certainty that one is a unstable equilibria because there is a much higher level of utility which could be reached at point number two here, and there is incentive to push past point number one. The comparative statics that we'll do in this framework is think about an increase in the depreciation rate of addiction capital, and we'll also go and think about how price changes can be used to go and get people to go and quit consumption of this addictive good cold turkey. Now, if we go and we see an increase of our depreciation rate delta, right, we'll go and we'll see a rotation out leftwards of this curve we'll see a higher unstable equilibria and a lower stable equilibria of our addiction, good, and capital. So we still have two equilibria, just that the lower one is going to go and get a little bit higher, and the higher one is going to go and get a little bit lower. If we're going to think about an increase in the price of the addictive good, we're going to see a rightward shift in this curve that goes and relates the impact of our consumption capital on our consumption good, but this is also parameterized by our price. This is revealed through our steady state equation for capital in our previous video. We'll see a higher unstable equilibria and lower stable equilibria. So really the same type of effect here. Now, if we go and we have a large enough price effect, right? We can go and we can push this curve out further rightward and end up in a situation where we can induce quitting the addictive good cold turkey, right? That is going to be giving us a steady state of this yellow star that we have right here with zero uh, consumption of our addictive good here. So these dynamics don't even start to begin with. So we have worked through um, our video series on the Becker Murphy model of rational addiction. We've talked about how we could go and impact um, consumption of an addictive good here and how we can use the price mechanism to get people to go and quit cold turkey. So I hope this video series was insightful. I hope it helped. Take care.